Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're making vegan waffles. So you're going to need one cup of the oat all-purpose flour. Then I'm going to be adding in about one fourth cup of coconut sugar and one teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm also going to add in a little bit of cinnamon and a pinch of salt. And I'm also going to be adding in just like a pinch or a few shakes of this ground nutmeg. So it's already like grinded. And then we're going to whisk, so we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients, whisk that together just so it's all fully incorporated very well. And then we're going to add in one cup of the almond milk, or you can use oat milk if you have that too. Um, I just, this is what I have on hand. Then you're going to add in about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and about a tablespoon of vanilla extract or in this case i'm using vanilla imitation and then i'm going to mix the wet ingredients i just did it this way because i thought it was easier and less work for me to have to wash dishes with so um i decided to whisk the wet first on top of the dry and now i'm combining everything together and i just added a little bit of cinnamon a pinch of it so just continue combining and then we're going to get our waffles um, ready. So at this point, you just want to coat your waffle maker really well. So in this case, I'm using some vegan butter. I just warmed it up in the microwave and I'm using this to just coat the entire thing or you can use coconut oil, whatever you like. Just make sure it's coated very well. And I ended up taking about a half a cup of or one fourth cup of this batter, poured it right in and then let it heat up and do its work. So I'm going to repeat the process and it should come out to about four to five waffles and i also added a vegan egg replacer so if you'd like to check that out i'm going to show you right now so i added in one tablespoon of the bob bread mills egg replacer and i'm going to add in about two tablespoons of water and we're going to mix that well together let it sit for a minute and then it's going to be ready to add into our waffle mixture so since this was a recipe tested um, i noticed that it came out better with the um egg replacer so i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm just going to top it off with maple syrup and some vegan butter and we are going to dive into this beauty